Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today is International Women's Day. So today is all about us women. Um, go buy yourself something you want. Go do something you enjoy. I myself didn't get anything. No gifts, no flowers. But I went to a store and I bought myself some brooches that I'm very happy with. Um, for example, this one is a girl who's dancing. I love dancing and I love music. This one is a unicorn. It reminds me to embrace my uniqueness and individuality. This one says love on it because love is the best, the most important. And this one is a piece of a puzzle because it reminds me of how piece by piece Action with action, every small step helps you and helps us um, create what we want. Helps us build that future or that outcome that we want. So, yeah, I made my day amazing by just doing things for myself. Buying myself nice things. And just... Um, just relaxing and doing things that make me feel good about myself. Today is also about celebrating the women in our lives. And I want to talk about a special woman in my life, in my family. I'm talking about my grandma. My grandma is my superhero. She is the most amazing woman. She, to give you a little bit of a background, my grandma got married um, and she had seven children. Her husband cheated on her. Her husband was not present in, the, in her life. He was not providing for the family. He was gone for most of the year, most of the time. He was not at home. So my grandma, in a village, had to raise by herself seven children with no support. And in order to do that, um, they also bought, he also bought lots of animals and lots of land and let my grandma take care of everything by herself. It's incredible to me how my grandma was able to take care of seven children dozens of animals, maybe hundreds of animals, and so many acres of land where there were so many uh, harvesting potatoes, uh, vegetables, you know, having to cut lots of grass for the animals and stuff like that. My grandma was working every day from uh, 5 a.m. till midnight. My grandma would only stop when she was passing out from exhaustion. And it's just amazing to me how she was able to do so much by herself. And she didn't leave her husband. She didn't leave her family. She just sacrificed herself. She just worked and did every day the best that she could. So... She's very inspiring. She's, she was an inspiration. She is and she will always be my inspiration as to how amazing women are. You know, we are amazing. And I want to tell you something. We received a message today. And I think it's relevant for us today. And I want to share it with you. This is the message. It says... There was a time when all women were sacred, a time when they were seen as goddesses, as leaders of their own destiny. There was a time when the body was sacred, when sex was a prayer, when men and women respected and worshipped each other. The woman was bathing in nature, using flowers as perfume. She was walking barefoot, running through the woods. 
She was wearing long, colorful, large dresses. She was dancing for herself, dancing for life. She was dancing to seduce and dancing to give birth. Her beauty was mesmerizing, fascinating. She was inspiration for poets and song for musicians. The woman was a mother, sacred, admired. Where is this woman? In which part of history did she go missing? Where should we look for her? Actually, this woman exists a day. She's been buried and forgotten in other shapes, faces and traditions. She doesn't remember what she once was. Today, that woman is a businesswoman, a doctor, a lawyer, a cop, a housewife, a politician, a nurse, writer, stylist. She's still here, but she forgot her femininity, her sacredness, her divinity. Woman, put your dress on, take off your shoes, and allow yourself to dance with the wind, satisfy your wishes, listen to your will, allow yourself to love, to sing, to dance, allow yourself to feel beautiful, loved, wanted, allow yourself to do what your soul is craving for, allow yourself to honor the goddess that's inside of you, allow yourself to enjoy life and be the master of your destiny women there are so many divine aspects that you ignore completely save your role your sacred femininity your ancestors don't be afraid to follow the light show yourself to the sun allow yourself to live every moment to the fullest Follow your instincts, just be yourself, be a goddess. <laughs> I love this, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this, this fills my heart with joy, honestly. This is real empowerment, you know, this is real empowerment. I was thinking about this when I was on my walk, how Women nowadays think that empowerment is um, competing with men for, for jobs and sleeping around with whoever men they want without being judged. Um, when actually real empowerment is finding your voice, finding your power, what you're capable of, bringing human beings into the world, how you're able to calm people down with your voice, with your energy, with your love and calmness, how you're able as a woman to do so many things that women couldn't do in the 30s, in the 20s, 30s. This is real empowerment, that we have freedom today to do so many things. So take advantage of that and do whatever you want. Do whatever your soul is craving for, whether that's dancing in the rain, <laughs> or listening to your favorite song, going on a trip, buying ice cream. Just do it. You deserve it. Happy International Women's Day. You are all beautiful. You are all amazing. And I love you all. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.